Um, I just wanted to give the introduction to Russ Miller. Russ and I have been friends since the early 80s. Uh, we've known each other as long as Hope's been around. <laughs> and uh, he's a dear brother and a tremendous musician, songwriter, and someone who loves the Lord dearly, dearly as you will tell, as he shares his heart, his connection with the Father, and his tremendous music. He uh, is always writing music. I don't know, how many songs? Have you ever counted up how many songs you've written? I, I believe it, easily hundreds. I know he's has like five or six CDs out over the years. He has a new collection of music. There's uh, a few CDs out on the, uh, in the lobby on the handrail. If you'd like one, they're free. Uh, he has a website. You can go to his website and download a lot of his recent music, and it's all for free. He just loves to build the kingdom. So Russ, why don't you come and continue building the kingdom in this place? Amazing. This is our father's house. And the song is called Our Father God. And I've got to record it, so I'm going to try to sing along with it. And I would like you to, if you, if you want to, try to sing along with me. And it's very appropriate for our... Would you join with me and sing? Praises to our King, for you know our voices bring Him joy. And Lord, we long for your embrace right here in this place. We long to see you face to face. I think that's, a, that's an appropriate song for Our Father's House. And I have to just comment on a couple of things. One, Miss Katie B, who is my number one biggest fan and who drives uh, everybody crazy by listening to my music constantly. <laughs> Katie B. <laughs> I mean, I've heard stories how, Katie B, you're insatiable. 
she, get, she sends me cards and she brought me one tonight. And I just wanted to say, Katie B, thank you so much. You inspire me. You really do, girl. And I think, you know, I also, this, this sign that they've put up here, uh, you know, putting the Father on display. And, you know, what a, what a tremendous thing. That's what Jesus does. That's what he came to do. And that's what he does in us. And we need to put the Father on display. Because I'll tell you what, God loves you. He loves us so much. And that's the one thing uh, in the last two or three years I've experienced such a great freedom in God. But it's come because I am convinced that he loves me no matter what I've done. And I'm going to share that song a little later on, but it's just so important. And I hope tonight somehow that you get a sense that God loves you so much. So where else are we going to do, Phil? And I love you, O Lord, my strength. I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently shall find me. But the goal of our instruction is love from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith, right? This is the goal, is that we would walk in love. And so, I want to sing our love back to him, and I will ask you to join me. Love me so much that he gave this fellow Phil Murray. <laughs> I wanted to introduce Phil to you. He blesses me so with this. This is the viola that he's playing. Say hi, Phil. <laughs> and his wonderful wife, Ruth. And his wonderful friend, Terrell, old friends of mine. Um, Phil agreed. You know, we've really not played. We played in church a few times together, but this is kind of a, a first time out and doing a concert. And I just, you know, I just love that instrument. It makes me cry. So. I hope it makes you cry too. That's our goal. We want to make everybody cry, except Katie B. Katie B, don't cry. Katie doesn't cry no more. And we know that those, for those who love God, all things work together for good. All things, right? This is hard sometimes to believe, but it is true. For those who are called according to his purpose, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. 
And this, this idea that we would be more like Jesus has just been a, a theme song that's come into my heart and life. And I think uh, like Bob Holt's theme song, what was that? Thanks for the memories of candlelight and wine. Well, my theme song is I want to be more like Jesus. So, so I want to teach it to you. I believe in God the Father and I believe he sent his only son to pay the penalty for my sin and I believe that Jesus now is seated at the right hand of the Father and he's interceding for me and I believe the Holy Spirit is here right now to lead us and to help us as we grow to be more like Jesus on the inside and on the outside. Every day, still once more, I believe in God the Father, and I believe He sent His only Son to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that Jesus now, seated at the right hand of the Father, and He's interceding. I believe the Holy Spirit is here right now To lead us and to help us as we grow To be more like On the inside and on the outside like Jesus. In great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. Therefore, laying aside all malice and deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and evil speaking as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Now, I have to tell you that the word of God has become so rich and alive to me over the years. Uh, at, at some point, it just you know, began to really, I guess, produce fruit in my life. And I'm, I'm just so, um, uh, I don't know, just love the word of God. Uh, for the word is sharp and active and super sharper than any two-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart, as Hebrews says. So I wrote this really, what I call a great song. Tim, Tim Frank likes this song. He goes bicycling down the road to this song he tells me all the time. Uh, and I like it too, and it's, we're going we're gonna to run the recording from... Uh, uh. Now the Word is also, we have the living Word and we have the written Word, right? Jesus is the Word, and the beginning was the Word, and the Word became flesh. So it's, it's not just the text, what I'm saying is the Logos, it's the heart of God. And, and I really love it, and I'm going to sing about it. You know, I'm going to show you the words, and you can try to sing along if you want to keep up. All right, Brandon, you can roll this one. Yeah. 
Word was God. The Word became flesh and dwelt here among us. As the only God and Son of God, the Lord Jesus. Oh, my soul. It is only through the power of word that the universe became. Oh, my soul. David, you know, David would say, oh, my soul, you know, right? And I think we have to talk to ourselves, <laughs> like, oh, my soul, I do love the Word of God, and I love the living Word of God, and I love the written Word of God. It's just, it's good stuff. Where'd my, where'd it go? Okay. So, I'm obviously not the piano man. I am the guitar man. And for years, you know, this was a... I'm going to sing this song, and you're going to wonder why until I get to the end. But uh, <laughs> Most everybody knows the words of the song. Whenever I go, you know, to share it, you know, people, I all sing along. Hey, this is a great song, great song. Yeah, it's about, it's, <laughs> it's about drowning your loneliness in a bar with sorrow. It's, 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 <laughs> it's got neat words, but it's so sad. And so I wrote some more lyrics. I wrote some lyrics on the end of it that I'm going to redeem this song with and ruin it for you forever. So. 
I'm not quite sure what to do. For a little out of tune, you'll give me grace. <clears throat> Sing along. He says, Bill, can you play me a melody? I'm not really sure how it goes. But it's sad and it's sweet and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. Oh, la da 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 Got us feeling all right. Now Joe at the bar is a friend of mine, and he brings me my drinks for free. And he's quick with the joke or to light up your smoke, but there's some place that he'd rather be. He says, Bill, I believe this is killing me. As a smile ran away from his face Well, I'm sure that I could be a movie star If I couldn't get out of this place Equipment adjustment I love this next verse now Paul is a real estate novelist. <laughs> he writes those ads for, you know, home for sale by the water tube car garage. Now Paul is a real estate novelist who never had time for a wife. And he is talking to Davy, who is still in the Navy and probably will be for life. And the waitress is practicing politics as the businessmen slowly get stoned Yeah, they're sharing a drink they call loneliness But it's better than drinking alone Well, it's a pretty good crowd for Saturday and the manager gives me a smile cause he knows that it's me they've been coming to see to forget about life for a while and the piano it sounds like a carnival and the microphone smells like a beer <laughs> and they sit at the bar put bread in my job saying man what are you doing here? Now my verses. Well, I've played you this song called Piano Man, though it's quite clear that I am not he. Because I'd like to tell you, and maybe compel you to think about eternity. Cause there are days when we all get so lonely and a good song can help time to pass. But the way that I figure our problem is bigger and we need a solution that lasts. So I'd like to recommend Jesus to you. He never will leave you alone Through 
his mercy and grace he's prepared us a place and it's the only place we can call home so i'm singing this song for the savior tonight but i will say a little prayer for you because he was dying to meet you and he's waiting to greet you when your life on earth here is through Songs, but I'm the guitar man I will play you some songs tonight I hope you're all in the mood For a melody That'll last For the rest Of your life Somebody said Billy Joel would like that <laughs> version. I'm not sure if he would, but it makes sense. Uh, and I think they're good lyrics, and I think they're really true. You know, he, is, he was dying to meet you, and he's waiting to greet you when your life on earth here is through. And so I wrote this new song called Laying It Down. And it's a, it's a fun song, but it's also very serious. get one life to live, one time to go around, you only get one chance to be laying it down, Father I'm praying help me be laying it down, to be laying it down, I know that it's not easy, it's a very hard thing to do, but if you take a good look at what Jesus did, that's what he's asking you, will you lay it down? Better give it away, cause it won't be worth a nickel come the judgment day. So I'm laying it down, I'm gonna lay it down. Because you only get one life to live, one time to go around. You know you only get one chance to be laying it down. So Lord, I'm praying, help me be a lay. You're laying it down. You gotta be laying it down. Because you only get one life to live. One time to go around. Only get one chance to be laying it down. So Lord, I'm praying, help me be a laying it down. And I'll be laying it down for my Lord. Laying it down for my wife. Laying it down for my children. I'll be laying down my life. Be laying it down for my church, laying it down when I'm at work, laying it down for my boss, even when he's being like a jerk, I'm still laying it down, still laying it down, because you only get one life to live, one time to go around, only get one chance to be laying it down, so Lord, I'm
down I'm gonna be laying it down Oh Lord That's what I wanna do I lay it down Oh Lord Just like you I'm gonna lay it down Oh Lord That's what I wanna do Help me lay it down Oh Lord Just like you Just like you <laughs> Isn't that a fun song, but doesn't it call you to, to die to self, right? To be more like Jesus, to lay your life down. And, uh, and Lord, help me lay it down. Because that's, you know, he who finds his life will lose it, but he who loses his life for my sake will find it. So I'm telling you, you can't keep it. So you better give it away. <laughs> it won't be worth a nickel come the judgment day, right? Right. All right. Well, amen to that, brother, huh? I'm just going to touch briefly. This is my good friend Tom. Uh, we built a bamboo cage, and the Lord in the last three or four years has set me free from just a number of things. And, and I'm not going to do the Freedom Trilogy for you tonight. It's, a, it's kind of a long piece, and you need to be in the right mood to hear it. But the concepts is that Jesus set me free, and, and I remember about three or four years ago, I could see myself in a cage like Tom is in up there. And the door is wide open. Jesus has saved me. He's rescued me. He's paid the price. He's opened the door. But I wouldn't come out. I was afraid of what was out there. The re it's like outside was rejection, right? I, that's, I grew up with an alcoholic dad. and had all kinds of other issues. But I was really afraid of people. I was, I was afraid of you. And I've been... <laughs> and, and thinking about coming here, I went through three or four days when I was totally mortified, thinking, maybe I'll get sick. Maybe I'll get in a car accident. Maybe I won't have to do it. And then the other days, I'm thinking, no, I want to do it. I want to go and come out of that cell and be free. So my friend Tom and I, we built that cage, and we used it for our men's retreat and your men's retreat. You know, uh, th this is... I want you to look at this picture. This is an amazing photo that's up there. Here you have the living word holding the written word, and he's going to say something. And this is a very special place in scripture. And, and what he says is really important, right? He picks up the scroll and he turns to Isaiah and he says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the Lord's favor. And he stops. <laughs> it says, and the acceptable, and the day of vengeance of our God, because he didn't come to bring vengeance, he came to bear vengeance, right? So here you have the, the word holding the word, and he says, he came to set the captives free. Right? And the Spirit of God, you know, this idea that he came to set us free. And because he did that for me, um, in, a, in a way that I can't quite explain how it happened, but it happened. It really did. And whether I got born again again, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the theology of that. All I know is I used to be inside that cell, and now I'm coming out. <laughs> I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I want you to, so I want to just hear a little bit of each section. There's a part, he goes, for so many years I was locked up in prison. So many fears had a hold of me. And then Jesus came. He was crucified and risen. And he put death to death. And then he took the keys and he set us free. Free from our sin and our shame. Truly free, just like we were born again. But the freedom came at such a price. It was a pure and perfect sacrifice for you and me that set us free. And so I'm free now. Free from my past and my pride. Truly free. He made me pure and spotless inside. So I am free to love now. I am free to cry. I am free to live. And I am free to die. Because he set me free. Right? fear and my doubt completely free yes this is what faith is about so if the prison door is now open why do you yell 
forget to sit inside Will you not believe Or will you not receive The precious blood That flowed From his side At the cross At the cross We are free Set me free, Lord. Completely free, Lord. I am free. I am free. That's the one part of it. And the part that gets, so it goes on and it talks about being free. I just keep going on and on about being free and being free. And I got this boogie thing going on it. it goes, don't it make you feel like singing? Don't it make you feel like dancing? Don't it make you want to shout? I am free. I'm free. Because Jesus set me free from sin and shame. Yes, and I am born again. Jesus set me free from all my past and my pride. Thank God. Jesus set me free and he made me holy inside. I am holy inside. Jesus set me free from all my fear and my doubt. Jesus set me free. That's what I'm talking about. Talking about being free. I'm free because Jesus set me free. Yes, he did. I am free. I'm free because Jesus set me free. Jesus set me free. Jesus set me free. Jesus set me free. Anyway, that's part of the Freedom Trilogy. And I just felt like I wanted to share that because I want to proclaim that freedom uh, to, the, to the powers of darkness that keep coming on and want to shove me back into that cage and, uh, and tell me how much God doesn't love me when in fact I know he does love me. I rewrote Power in the Blood, you know, there is power, power, wonder working power. You know that one? I always liked that song, I liked the words, but I wanted it softer. And so I, I made it an adjunct to the Freedom Trilogy. We're just going to do a, a first verse. There is power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power in the blood of the Lamb. By His blood I am from my sin and my shame It washes me whiter than snow Now I can over evil A victory win As my sin stains are lost In his life-giving flow There is 
this power Wonder working power In the blood of the Lamb There is power In the blood of the Lamb In the blood of the Lamb So there's more to that. One of the things, I want to share this video with you now. We're going to do the lion and the lamb. And, and uh, no, Phil, Phil is eventually going to play the solo part on this, and we're going to get him to do this. But um, this, there's an intro to this. The Father, Son, and Spirit, you know, from eternity past, were in creation mode, and it's like a dance. It's been described as they were moving together, and then the universe came into being. And so I wrote this prelude to the song about the lion and the lamb. And these voices you hear, these three, there's actually three violin voices, and these are the Father, Son, and Spirit dancing. My poetic license and might get revoked, but it's okay. All right, Brandon, can you roll that?
the great I am With the Son of God And the Son of Man With the Lion and the Lamb With the Lion and the Lamb With the Lion and the Lamb That's the story, the whole of it, right? I want to talk about the kingdom way. I want us, this is a, we're going to take up an offering for hope after this. But uh, I was out on my front porch looking up in the sky in this picture. I hope you can see it. There's these clouds, and it was only there for a minute. I said, that's a funny-looking cloud formation. And I took a picture of it with my iPhone, and then I took it in, and I, says, I asked Linda, I says, honey, what's that? what does that spell? And she says, love. <laughs> I go, okay, it's not just me. And there it is, L O. V E underline. And while I was right, the song that I was working on when that, that was out there was this song called the Shema. Hero Israel, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Anyway, it's a song that goes like that. But oh you must be born again or you can't see the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. So I've got this video called The Kingdom Way and I, it's, it's really, it's learning to live in the kingdom. When we, uh, the lion and the lamb is meant to tell us about the king, right, in his many aspects. But the kingdom way is to tell us how we're supposed to be living here. Uh, and of course the world has it upside down and that's really hard to look at and we don't like looking at that. Whoa, just... I just blew Chris's mind. But the kingdom way talks about taking our eyes off ourselves, empathy, self-giving. It's, it's, there's a lot of stuff in here, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I want to get to it. And I'm going to ask Brandon to go ahead and, and, uh, and uh, run it, and I'm just going to sing along with it. Learning to take my eyes of myself I am finally learning to love somebody else And I am learning to listen now much more than I speak Because that is the way of the kingdom that I see Much more than I take And I'm learning how to repair Much more than I break And I'm learning to go now Where I have not gone Because that is the way of the kingdom Which I belong Now I'm learning to 
Timothy, we need to take a thing, and I think we'll only have time to do one more after we do the, uh, you're going to take an offering, I assume, for hope? You're going to do something like that? It's really been a pleasure and a joy to share these songs with you, and, uh, and the Lord keeps dumping them in faster than I can get them recorded and out, and, but I'm going to keep on trying to get more recorded and more on the website. Uh, and I hope you will listen and share them with your friends. And live in the kingdom way. Phil, I think let's get ready uh, and we'll plan on doing uh, the rivers in the desert piece. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are saved and among those who are perishing. You are the river in the desert and all around you are people who are parched, dying of, of a lack of true living water in that desert. Mama 
my river in the desert, says the Lord. Oh, come be my river in the desert, says the Lord. Will you be my river? me cry Phil that last note just makes me cry because there are people who are so hurting and you have the living water and I know he's working through you to give it to them but uh, the days are growing close the day of reckoning is coming and uh, so I just want to thank you so much uh, for coming out tonight it's been my great joy and pleasure and and thank you Phil for coming and Ra Brandon for everything you're doing he's playing the piano he's running the sound he's doing everything so uh, again, God bless you and uh, hope to see you around soon. <laughs>